The most incomprehensible thing in the world to a man is a woman who rejects his offer of marriage. I do not comprehend it because it is madness. I hope you're wrong. I could not be. I saw her answer. You saw her answer? Emma. You wrote her answer, didn't you? If I did, I would have done no wrong. He is not Harriet's equal. I agree, he is not her equal. Good. He is her superior in sense and situation. What are Harriet Smith's claims of birth or education that make her higher than Robert Martin? She is the natural daughter of nobody knows whom. The advantage of the match was entirely on her side. What? A farmer? Even with all his merit, a match for my dear friend. It would be a degradation for her to marry a person whom I could not admit as my own acquaintance. A degradation? For illegitimacy and ignorance to marry to a respected, intelligent farmer? She is a gentleman's daughter. Whoever her parents, they made no plans to introduce her into good society. She was left with Mrs. Goddard for an indifferent education. Her friends evidently thought this was good enough for her, and it was. And she thought so too until you began to puff her up. Vanity working on a weak mind produces every kind of mischief. Hmm. You dismiss her beauty and good nature, yet I would be very much mistaken if your sex in general does not think those claims the highest a woman could possess. Men of sense, whatever you may say, do not want silly wives. <sighs> oh, my word, Emma. Better be without sense than misapply it as you do. Try not to kill my dogs. We see so differently on this point that there can be no use canvassing it. We shall only make each other angry. Ah, oh, I see the tea is ready. Let's stop and have some.